Welcome back, everyone. Nothing says summertime like a good barbecue and some beer, right? Yes. Uh, but to make it taste even better, there's a brew fest happening, and it benefits the Boys and Girls Clubs of Elkhart County. You got that right. Matt Fisher, the Chief Advancement Officer of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Elkhart County, is joining us right now to tell us all about it. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. It, we are so excited about this. I can yeah. imagine you guys. We just had Tammy on the show last week. Yep. Yes. And we were like, you know what? We need you guys to come back on next week because I think this is the big push. You guys are excited about this. We're about a week away. We are a week away. It's our ninth annual barbecue and brew fest. And you know, that's a fundraiser. Yep. So we only charge $30 per kid at the club for all that they get for the entire year. So we really rely on the community to mm -hmm. come and show up because we need them to have a good time and yeah. raise some money for these kids. Yeah. Absolutely. And when people go there, what can they expect? I know there are some good burgers. Oh my line. goodness. So we have over 20 burgers. So you're going to be able to go and you're going to go to different <laughs> grilling teams and they are going to be competing for the best tasting burger. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the fan favorite burger. So everyone that comes gets a ticket. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be able to take samples of all these burgers you're going to be able to enjoy those but it's not even just burgers we're going to have some chicken awesome. we're going to have some vegan options uh -huh. we're going to have pizza there's going to be ice cream from vanilla beans so there's something wow. for everybody for food and that was the Ooh. one difference from last year i went last year and i don't remember the fan favorite one because i was a judge last mm -hmm. year yes. but now i'm like oh i can be a judge if you're just showing up you can judge everybody's <laughs> if you want to right you sure can oh, that's yeah, great yeah with the fan favorite talk about where this money goes to because mm -hmm. we know you guys need it over at the elkhart the boys and girls clubs of elkhart county yeah so last year we served over 7,000 kids in Elkhart wow. County through the clubs. And we need these dollars for our programs. We're working on workforce readiness. We're working on social skills. We really want to make sure that we're providing fun, but that we're teaching them, we're educating them, and creating a safe environment where, where they really want to be there every day. Let's yeah. do the math here. You said 7,000 kids. Usually mm -hmm. it costs about $30 per kid for the entire season. That is huge because you're not asking people to break their, their wallets for no. their kids, but right. at the same time, that is why you're asking the community to show up this coming week, right? Yeah. Yes, and it's not just burgers. We're going to have craft beer and an open bar, okay. and so that is provided by West on Warren and Rue 152, so that's going to be fantastic. Oh. But Boys and Girls Club is all about fun, right? Mm -hmm. So we do that really well. Yeah. So we're going to have a full kids area. We're talking bounce houses, bubbles, glow sticks, temporary tattoos. No one does it better than Boys and Girls Club of Elkhart County, so bring the kids. It's a fun time for the kids. Oh, I rain or it. shine, right? Rain or shine. Because it was we rain dance in the rain. Yeah, last year we danced in the rain. We danced in the rain. Had, what was the um, the band that, that was out there last year? Blamo. They're going. Blamo's going to be Blamo's there this year. Oh. coming back. They're That's be back. a big deal. They're great. I love Blamo. That is a big big deal. <laughs> I love Blamo. And this is so important. And we know how close uh, how yeah. close you are as a chief advancement officer with those kids. Mm -hmm. But after an event like this, and you see the benefits of it, just talk about, for example, last year, not long after the event was over and the dust cleared, and you looked at those kids, mm. what was most fulfilling for you? Oh my goodness. You know, there are so many stories. I have been part of the Boys and Girls Club movement for 23 years, okay? Wow. So I have met a lot of kids that now are older, have their own kids, right? So we have one of my favorite stories is a young lady. Um, we actually took her on a trip to Gatlinburg and she actually was able to get an internship in graphic art because of the programs that we run. So wow. what's really neat about this is you see kids, because of the dollars that we raise, they get to experience different things that they wouldn't normally experience at home. So they get to learn what are they passionate about? Yeah. What, what excites them? What makes them happy? And then we provide opportunities for them to see that and then we provide opportunities for them to realize what they can do as far as a future for workforce readiness. That's really impressive. It's a safe and fun environment for so many kids out there. How can people get involved and, and come to the event? Oh, go to our website. So learn more about club because it's greatfutures.club and you can find the tickets there or you can go directly to bbqbrewfest.com mm -hmm order your tickets. I suggest you get them in advance because it makes your check-in process so much easier. Yes. But yeah, go get the tickets. We're expecting at least 1,200 people there. There's going to be plenty of food for wow. everybody. There's so much fun to do. And we have a silent auction as well with some amazing items in the silent auction. That was my last question mm. I was going to ask about the silent auction. People can partake in that as well, correct? They can. Okay, gotcha. I'm um, going to taste some of these burgers. It, they are so good. And it's impressive because I know people at home who are watching who've never gone to this event saying, yeah. are there chefs for each team? No, these are regular no. teams that are made up that they submit to you guys and say, hey, for example, Outdoor Industries wants to be a part of this. Absolutely. And they'll have their own cook, whoever he or she may be. And it is good burgers. Gourmet. It's, yeah. Crazy, insane, the delicious. The creativity is, is really outstanding. I think Tammy said, what, there was peanut butter on a oh, burger? Oh, yes. There was yeah. one with uh, homemade mozzarella sticks on top. <laughs> Come on. 
but Come we're talking on. bacon jam. I mean, you name it, it's on and there. And it gets pretty competitive. Oh, mm -hmm. so competitive. <laughs> yeah. Indeed yeah. it does. And but you bragging rights are on the line. It's competition, but it's all fun. And you said it. Nobody can do fun like Boys and Girls Clubs yes. of Elkhart County. That's right. Um, this yes. is great stuff. So great if you work. have any questions about this event, we'll have it on our website after the show, WNDU.com. We appreciate you doing us. Thank you for Thanks, all man. you do and everyone. Thank you day. for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back.